gamers hey once again thanks again for tuning in to the game of rebirth the l channel so what do we have today today we have the lol icon skprx plugin it is not the lol that we all know about what this is this is an impeccable tool or plugin that will enhance or give us more speed on our cpu for the playstation vita thanks to dots that created this new plugin also all the other developers that help with this which is amazing it adds 500 mhz aka real overclocking at the kernel level and allows more options in regards to overclocking now the menu may lag but it will go full speed once you exit now dots put a warning this is obviously experimental for now and carries the dangers of overclocking now for real overclocking please proceed with caution so there's more information in there as well which is pretty cool also it enables frame counter for the playstation beta on the games and you can also swap your buttons from x to circle which is pretty cool so now in order to install this you can either download the skprx plugin or you can just go to the hero gac and get the auto plugin vpk which it'll install it for us now this is pretty cool what he has thanks to the hero makes all the plugins to be installed automatically and easily so we can go ahead and get that vpk whichever is your preference you guys know that i will keep all my plugins in my plugins folder but for this example to make it easier for everyone we're going to use the auto plugin vpk so we connect our playstation vita to the pc using Vita Shell. Once we press select, it'll connect to the PC. Okay, so now you guys see that I had my old auto plugin in there. And now I'm just going to drag it or copy and paste it to the root of the PlayStation Vita. Okay, that's pretty cool. The plugin, if I want to install it manually, then I just transfer it to my plugins folder, but the auto plugin will do that for me. So I don't need to. So we go to the PlayStation Vita and we install the auto plugin VPK. If you agree to the message, then proceed. This is pretty cool. This is awesome. I can wait for this tool or plugin to be enhanced even more. Now, if we go to the auto plugin, we can see that we have the most latest one installed. So we will install plugins and you guys can see that all the plugins are in there but we will install the lol icon by dot press x and then simple as that guys easy we press start to close and it will ask us to reboot our playstation vita now if you already have the plugin it'll update automatically via the network you guys can see i just launched on my blue playstation vita the auto plugin vpk and it was automatically updated now in order to enable the menu you press select and up now you can go and do the osd options and you can select it with x or circle whichever playstation vita you might have and then you press x to select it or or circle in this instance i'm using the x now my frame counter is on the top left hand corner the control options you can select swap the buttons from x to circle so now you can enable it in the live area but i wanted to enable it in a game now you guys know the street fighter is sometimes kind of laggy so we go to osd show frame counter or frame speed and then we go to all clock options press x you guys can see we have the default the 444 if you go to the right then you get the holy shit now you can go to the battery saver but we will enable the holy one and we go back with circle now we save the configuration for this game so it'll save it just specifically for this game okay which is pretty cool now we press select and down to get rid of the menu you guys can see that it is counting our frame per second now if we launch the game the information will be saved so that it can show our frames per second. Also, the old clock is already enabled. So 
but now let's go ahead and see how it performs so for you guys that maybe play a lot of the laggy games and you guys see like a difference please let us know in the comments I don't really get to play games but I know within the menu of the Street Fighter it is kind of laggy but it looks good to me so if you guys see a difference just comment so we're just going to give it a ride okay you guys can see it's under the holy so the gameplay I mean it looks good you guys tell me so guys this is pretty cool increasing the CPU speed of the PlayStation Vita it is amazing these developers do not stop to amaze us they're doing a great thing so go get that plugin if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always gamer rebirth out